Hello guys, it's Unknown Systems. Today I'll be showing you how to um, get a few sources, my personal favorites, and showing you some tweaks that usually people get right when they have Cydia. Alright guys, what you'll need is of course a jailbroken uh, iDevice. If your iDevice is not jailbroken, just watch one of my recent videos or go on my YouTube channel and watch how to jailbreak an iPod Touch on 4.0 for all devices. Alright guys, so what we're gonna do is you're gonna open up Cydia. Alright, you're gonna let it load. You're gonna go to manage. Alright guys, hold up. It takes a while. Alright, you want to go to manage, sources, and you can see I have some sources here, All right? they'll be in the description, so all you want to do is go to edit, add, and just add the sources you want, alright, these are my personal favorites, so they're really awesome. All right, so my first one is Excelis. It's my first favorite. So, yeah. What you can get from this source is the themes, different night good themes. Um, there's a few tweaks you can get in here, but this is mostly for themes. Um, my second favorite is Repo and Sanity iPhone. These have a lot of tweaks, and really nice tweaks, uh, especially the App Sync for OS 4 right here. That's a really nice. Uh, tweak also the auto shutdown it's a timer so you can set it to when you want your uh, iDevice turned off you know there's countless tweaks in that source my third favorite will be sinful iPhone there's a lot of tweaks in here as well so it's really nice to have alright guys well, it has to reload so I'm gonna just pause the video for a minute and come back when it's done because it takes a while all right, guys. Um, sorry for the sorry for that. I had to reload, but um, like I was saying, simple iPhone was my is uh, my th la third favorite because there's a lot of uh, tweaks as well. Like you can disable the multitasking, you can um, enable tethering for the three GS or three G. Um, and there's a lot more. Alright, and what's a good source to have is iPhone, the iPhone Center. Why? Because once you have the source in the A section, you're going to look for, let me find it for you guys, right here, all sources. What this does is it's a pack of sources that you can download in the, from the source, and it's a really good really good thing you should do because there's a lot of good sources you can get that's why I have so many right here and they can help because some of uh, the packages in these sources are from different language for different languages so if you uh, let's say want to sell an iDevice or something like that to someone that doesn't speak English and uh, is to, from another language you can try to find another uh, language package and just download that and upload it and it will change the language so that's really nice but um, I don't think it changes the whole mainframe to that, that language I think just Cydia but it's good to have alright um, I'll show you some tweaks right now these are the popular popular tweaks that tweaks that usually guys get once they have Cydia the first one will be the five icon dock all right so you just go you go to the city and put that in your search bar and there you go it enables you to fit one more app on your icon dock instead of having four now you have five you get there's also
There's also a six icon dock. So instead of having four, you can have six. You can add two more. Five is right for me. I don't want too much. Another thing is the five column springboard. Instead of going four across and four down, you're gonna go four down and five across with this tweak. As you can see, I have it right here. All right. Another cool thing to have is called Make It Mine. This this tweak allows you to change your carrier and your um, your carrier and your banner. As you can see right here. If you guys were wondering how I changed the banner and carrier to unknown software and systems well make it mine get make it mine and you can do the same it's a cool little app that you download and it's really fun to have um, another thing I want to talk about is emulators for instance um, the NES emulator as you can see it's right here there's also the Nest 3 emulator, which costs money, so you're going to need to buy it. But, um, yeah, it's really cool. You're able to play those games. So, there's also the Nintendo 64 emulator for, I for the iPhone or iPod Touch. And, um, I'll show you some some things like multimedia here you can get a lot of things like um, you're able to uh, download you download one of these programs just read carefully and what you want and you can maybe you want something from freeflix which is you're able to download instantly off of freeflix a movie that just came out or something and download it to your uh, product all right guys thanks for watching uh i hope this helped you rate comment subscribe if uh you if this helped you like the video and subscribe if this didn't um just send me a message or a comment telling me that you want to know more about Cydia and sources and emulators and stuff so just send me messages and, and put comments and next week i'll make a video of emulators how to get them and how to get games, all right? Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this helped in some way.